Hi right, guys, I'm back with another Colt video and today I want to talk about this CR6920. Uh, this was originally an OEM one and I added the furniture onto it. Today I surpassed a thousand rounds um, with it today and I have not cleaned or lubed this gun at all. I've done absolutely nothing to it besides just shoot. Uh, 500 rounds have been a mix of brass case 62 grain and 55 grain uh the 62 grain was american eagle i think mil spec or no it was lake city mil spec ammo and then the uh, brass case 55 grain was pmc and then the last 500 rounds of this has been nothing but steel cased uh wolf they're wolf boxes but as you'll see in the head stamp um it is actually rebranded Tula ammunition. So you see the dust deflector there has a little bit of wear to it. I haven't even, I pulled this bolt out around 800 rounds and I made a short with it. Um, but we're going to tear this thing apart in a little bit and we'll look at the bolt and all the, the details of what that looks like. Uh, this gun, I really don't have a lot to say. It's, uh, it's been boring, reliable. It's a, uh, you know, imagine that. It's a Colt M4. Um, Colt is still very quality. Um, let me, in fact, let me show you this here. <clears throat> so this here is a five-shot group at 100 yards with uh, the Tula ammunition. Uh, so this flyer was my fault. I, I knew it was my fault. But if you don't count the flyer and you just count this four-shot group here, it's under an inch and a half. And if you, and even if you include this flyer, it's still just barely over a two inch group. Um, that's out of a free float, I'm sorry, I'm, <laughs> that's out of a non free float barrel uh, with the shittiest ammo you can buy. Um, also, most of the ammunition, as you've seen in the videos, uh, I have several 20 round mags. Uh, I can only shoot five rounds out of a gun a rifle that's why i use 20 round mags um it's been that way my basically my whole shooting career no matter what range i seem to go to um they end up banning it or putting a five round mag limit in which is absolutely idiotic but anyways point in showing you this mag was you know you can see that there it, it doesn't have an anti-tilt follower in it and oh no this isn't a colt mag this is uh is from Hartford, Connecticut. I think it is a Colt mag. I don't know what the hell that stands for, but uh, this was a mag made in 08. I think I've used this mag for five years now, and I can't tell you how many thousands of rounds I've put through this. And the only time I've ever had an issue with this was when uh, I had a gun short stroke, and it did, when it short stroked, it did cause the rounds to nose feed like that, but that was the gun's fault. Um, I, but other than that, I've had no issues with the non-anti-tilt followers. So, just wanted to throw that in there. <clears throat> so, you got this, the crappiest ammo, the crappiest magazine, and it just runs. It it just runs like a uh, scolded ape. Um, like I said, there's not a whole lot to talk about with this. It's just been boring, reliable. Uh, Colt is still quality. If you're looking for your first AR, your second AR, your third AR, and you don't have a Colt, I suggest buying a new Colt. Uh, don't pay the premium for the LE marked guns because there's no need. So let's go ahead and break this up. I actually want to pause the camera. Um, hold on here. Okay, I wanted to pause the camera and put this over my blanket because I don't want to get um, my uh, blanket that I do videos on carbon covered so as you can see here um there's no it's not being chewed it's not chewing the buffer up or anything uh it's amazing that i have to say that but a lot of guns you'll see a lot of the, the commercial guns that happens uh reno may just did a video on the new on one of the new bushmaster guns and his buffer was getting chewed up um, but just regular standard trigger, so you can see the carbon build up there. Um, but it looks good, you know, nothing, nothing out of the ordinary, which I mean, figured. Get this uncaught here, sorry. All right, just your standard uh, 
Colt M4 carbine, CR marked, if you can see that. Standard A2 grip, standard uh, trigger, or yeah, standard trigger, standard safety, nothing special. This is just a basic mil spec gun. Um, all right, let's pull the bolt out. We'll get to that then. Charging handle looks okay. Let me wipe this down once. Actually, and you can see it's, I don't know if that's, that might be rain. I don't know what the hell that is, honestly. It looks like it's a little wet still. I don't know what would cause that. I haven't did anything to this gun. So, I don't know. It was it was raining today, so I don't know if it got a little wet from that or what, you know. But, this is what it looks like with a quick wipe. A thousand rounds and there's no wear, really. I mean, there's a little bit here. But, I mean, you can't even, I don't even know if the camera, yeah, the camera will kind of pick it up. But, I mean, no wear on it. A thousand rounds. And I do use the charging handle. Um, so. Alright. Bolt carrier group. This we do have a little bit of wear on, but not bad. Looks like up on the gas key, a little bit on the sides. Um, anyways, let's pull this apart. I don't have... A okay, sorry about that. I didn't have any... Look at my hands. I didn't have anything to uh, pull that cotter pin out with. So, alright, so cotter pin's out. Looks normal, good. You know, I pulled this apart when I first got it, when I cleaned... I did clean the grease and lubed it, but other than that, I haven't got anything out. Let's check the firing pin. This looks fucking just absolutely gross. And by the way, this is absolutely, look look at my fingers. This is absolutely going in the ultrasonic cleaner because I ain't even going to try to scrub this shit off. All right. There's a guy that had an older Colt and he, dude, this is so gummy and nasty. He had a, an older Colt. This is an older video, but it's a 7,000 round um, video. Uh, he has 7,000 rounds without cleaning it. Uh, no. <laughs> I wouldn't. He And then he cleaned it on camera. Absolutely not. This is just 1,000 rounds to look at this. This is carbon caked. I don't know how well you can see any of this. My, my camera doesn't focus that well. But, I mean, you can just see that's... I mean, look at my hands. All right, pull the bolt out, and there's not a whole lot you can see without actually cleaning it. We'll wipe the bolt off here. Just did a quick wipe down, so you can see there's some finish wear, but it's not bad. It's not bad at all. You see all the carbon. I don't know if you can see, but there's just a mess ton of carbon up there. Um, let me uh, what I haven't done I have not pulled this firing pin or the um, extractor out at all so let's pull this out here once this is not cage code marked which is fine um, there and then the bolt face looks good I don't see anything too too bad on the bolt face there. Back of the lugs look good. From what I can see, I'm not a gunsmith by any stretch of the imagination. Again, I don't know how much of this is going to come up on the camera. Uh, what I might do is I might just take pictures and put them in for you. But or not, it looks good. I mean, it's only a thousand rounds. It's not like any major, but uh, still, I think it's cool. I wanted to do this, and then you can, yeah, you, know, you can see that C there on the side of the carrier. Maybe not. One of these days, maybe at some point I'll invest in a better camera. But, um, <clears throat> you can see the carbon just on this side. It's just completely, I couldn't imagine trying to get in there. And uh, can you imagine what the inside of this gas key looks like? Huh, <laughs> screw that. So, like I said, it's going to go in the ultrasonic cleaner. Um, something I didn't notice before, I'm just noticing now, is inside this bolt here. See if I can... I'll put a picture in. Inside this bolt here, you can feel it. It's not machined very well. Not a big deal, just an observation I noticed. See the bottom of that, a little bit of wear. And this is probably going to get one of the most high wear areas. It's right here. Every time, even if you just charge the weapon, it's going over that hammer. So, But everything looks good. I mean, nothing looks... Out of the ordinary. Again, I'm not a 
take a look in there. Can't really see too well. I do have a bunch of lights up, but it looks like I need more lighting. Um, looks like your typical receiver is dirty. Um, I could take the opt ACOG off and sit the receiver inside, like the receiver up to probably here into the uh, ultrasonic cleaner, but I, I'm not, sorry, but I'm not going to do that because I don't want to re-zero the ACOG, so. <clears throat> and that's about it. I'm not going to put this back together because this is going straight in the ultrasonic cleaner for a bath. Um... That's pretty much all I have. I just wanted to do a, an update. Uh, plan uh, for this gun is to shoot this as much as possible. I'd like to put another 1,500 rounds through it. Put this down here. I'd like to put another 1,500 rounds through it uh, over between this now and next year around this time. Of course, that depends on ammo availability. Uh, plan is to only shoot steel case through this. And... I don't know, I guess just see how it runs. But so far, so good. It's, uh, you know, boring reliability. So, uh, and, you know, 1,000 thousand rounds with the stock Colt, you know, uh, charging handle. I have a separate video on this, a short I did on why you don't need anything more than this. Um, standard A2 grip, standard ass stock. Uh, again, my favorite thing, just a basic M4. Be a little patient because I am the only one buying this ammo and stuff. So everything that I do on my channel, I buy. I buy ammo, all that stuff. So <clears throat> anyways, uh, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys later.